Food of life, such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> All right, woke up craving some fried chicken. Yes, I know guys, I always eat fried chicken, but I only eat it once a month, guys, or once a week, guys, so. Take it easy on me, all right? Let me show you how easy it is to make the best Louisiana gourmet fried chicken ever. Don't blame. <laughs> here we go, 10 pieces of drumstick here. So to this, half a tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna go in with, I wanna say a cup. Yeah, let's go a cup of Louisiana hot sauce. Excuse the noise, guys. Just the leaf blower, all right? To this, I'll pop you guys up. I got roughly around 12 Thai chili here. All we're gonna do, blend this up. Once you got them nice and blended, we're just gonna dump it in. Dump all of that in. Make sure, sure guys, you don't bring this in. Here we go. I'm gonna do this, another half tablespoon. So a full tablespoon of salt in all day because I want it salty because Louisiana fried chicken is pretty salty to me, all right? So, do this. Tablespoon, no, let's go two tablespoons of hot chili powder. Or more because I like it. And I'm just gonna go in with a teaspoon, no, half ta a tablespoon of white pepper. All right, nothing to it. Get that beautiful clean glove of yours. Why I'm wearing gloves, guys, is because if I don't wear gloves, my whole hand or this whole hand will be Burning this whole session. So, mix that all in very well. Now, what we're gonna do, guys, is let this marinate for about three to five hours minimum or the whole day, all right? All right, here we go. First coating of the chicken, plain white flour. Second coating, wet batter. So, to our wet batter, three crack eggs. Yeah. One can of club soda. That in. To this, a teaspoon of salt. Then we got one cup of flour going in. Nothing to it. Mix this in. Mix this in very well. All right, next, seasoning flour. So three cups of flour going in. All right, so like I said, don't sleep on this recipe, all right? Best fried chicken you ever make at home, I promise you. I'm going with half a tablespoon of salt. Teaspoon of garlic salt. Go half a teaspoon of celery salt, half tablespoon of black pepper, half tablespoon of white pepper, I like that preciseness, tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of hot chili powder, teaspoon of ground ginger, teaspoon of ground tan, half teaspoon of ground coriander, and a tablespoon of paprika. Nothing to this now, whisk this all in. There it is, nice, simple, easy, seasoning flour complete. Just beautiful. Next on the menu, gravy. So a tablespoon of butter there. Ah, uh, a tablespoon of garlic. Let's go a teaspoon of chili flakes. A pinch of oregano, or just a teaspoon, or half a teaspoon. Don't matter, guys. It don't matter. Half a teaspoon of dry basil. Let that fry up. All right. Once you got that all nice incorporated, let's go three tablespoon of flour here. Cook this flour in with the butter. All right, once it cooks in nicely, two cups of chicken stock, low sodium. So again, push this in on a high heat until it becomes nice and thick. Maybe it has thickened up nicely. All I'm gonna do, taste this. That's delicious. Then we're gonna season this for our liking. So, I think it needs a little salt, a little black pepper, or white pepper actually, so half a tablespoon of both. Mix this up. Taste and adjust for your liking, all right? All right, next, coleslaw mix. So I got a little bag of coleslaw mix I bought in the stores there. Washed it and clean it. To this, two tablespoons of sugar. One tablespoon of white vinegar. Now let's go two, two. Now let's go three tablespoons of sugar. Then we got some real mayonnaise. I'm just gonna toss in a little more than half a cup. Bam. I got this secret recipe or secret weapon right here. Celery seasoning. Just add in half a tablespoon of this. Nothing to it. Mix this up. There it is. Nice, simple, easy, beautiful, delicious coleslaw complete. Don't believe me? 
Try it. Try it. Then come and tell me. Maybe back off from three tablespoons of sugar though. Just do two tablespoons for now. All right, let that marinate in the fridge for about three hours or for the time being, guys. All right, next, buttermilk biscuit. So I got one and a half cup of flour here. I got a cup of beautiful cold butter here, which I'm just gonna shave in. To this, half a teaspoon of bacon powder, half a teaspoon of bacon soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt going in. Mix this all in. Break up all the pieces in this, guys. Make sure, make sure. You want nice crumbly gravel. That's what we're looking for. Once you got nice gravel, I got one cup of cold buttermilk here, which I'm just gonna pour in and mix this in, guys. And all we're looking for, guys, when we make nice, beautiful, soft biscuits, it's a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making nice, beautiful, buttery biscuits, all right? All right, once you got this all nice and rolled out, we're just gonna throw this in the fridge for about 20 minutes before we start rolling this out. All right, next, beans. So. For our beans, I got four strips of bacon here. Let that fry up. Here we go, bacon semi crispy. Because I have no time. <laughs> Drain the fat, like so. Take the bacon, throw it back in. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of garlic here. I'm gonna throw in a cup of chicken stock here. Like so. I got a can of black beans here, which I'm just gonna dump in. I couldn't find black eyed peas. These black beans will do. And we'll just let this simmer up, guys. All right, next, rice. So I got some Uncle Ben's rice here, or some long grain rice. I got one, two, maybe three cups of this whole bag here, yes. Three cups of rice. I'm gonna take my chicken stock, the rest of this, and we'll pour it in. Bam. Flatten this rice. Once I got that nice and leveled out, I'm gonna take the tip of my fingertip here, I'm gonna stick it in, and if it doesn't fill up to this line here, I'm gonna fill the water up to this line. Make sense? <laughs> so, boom, bam. Yes, it's there. Nothing to it. Take this bad boy. Pop this in Aroma. Big shout out to Aroma Gang. I can't use the Tiger Gang today, guys, just because. Wait, wait, wait. Oops, 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 oops. There it is. There's our rice in it. All right. So, Roma gang, check in. All right, here we go. Biscuits nice and set. All we're gonna do, roll this out. Flour on the counter. Bam, bam. Take our rolly. Roll this out. Like so. Doesn't matter what size biscuits you want. However thick you want it, you roll it out. All right. Take your cutter, pop on some biscuits. One biscuits. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right here. Eight, nine, and ten. Nine. Let's go. Onto a baking sheet. Roll this up again. All right, once you got your biscuits nice and cut out, I'm just gonna do a little olive oil on top. Because olive oil makes everything gourmet, right? That's why, guys. That's why it's so expensive. Because people use olive oil. All right. Oven's preheated at 420. We're gonna bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes on the second rack. Here, let me show you. Make sure, guys, on the second rack. See, second rack, throw it in, 15 to 20 minutes. All right, next on the menu, mac and cheese. So I got two tablespoons of butter going in. To this butter, two tablespoons of flour going in. Cook this flour in with the butter. And this is our cheese sauce for our mac and cheese here. Let's just let this cook in together. Once you got that nice incorporated, I got two cups of vegetable stock here. I'm gonna do two cups of heavy whipping cream. 
do this, I got a teaspoon of garlic here, half a tablespoon of white pepper, and I got a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg here, just a bit, and I got a half a tablespoon of onion powder. A little more. What's that in? Let this thicken up. All right, here we go. Waiting for this to thicken up. I got boiling water here. I'm gonna throw in three cups of macaroni here into my boiling water. We'll just let this boil up. My white sauce is nice and hot, or nice and thick. All I'm gonna do, take it off the heat. One cup of cheddar cheese. Now I'm gonna do one cup of mozzarella cheese. What's this in? Make sure the heat's off before you whisk it in, all right? Just take it off the heat. There it is, nice, simple, easy, beautiful mac and cheese sauce, complete. Here we go, our noodles are complete. All we're gonna do, take our cheese sauce, throw it on. Yes, guys, it is a little runny right now because it's still hot. Yes, I know guys. Yes, I know. It's a little runny, okay? I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Just when it cools down, it's gonna thicken up, I promise you, okay? You better not see that comment. All right, here we go. How to get the best cooking frying oil. So I got canola oil here heating at a four to five or just a medium low heat for about 20 minutes, guys. After 20 minutes, we're gonna stick our chops again, or we're gonna stick a, wood, a wooden spoon in once it bubbles up like this. Oil's ready. So, dredging process. So, take our beautiful marinated chicken into plain white flour here. Shake off any excess into our wet coating. Very crucial step, shake off any excess into our seasoning flour. And all we're gonna do, guys, pack it in. Pack it in very well. Once you finish it, packing it in. Shake off any access. Push this baby over here. Like so. Push this over here. Shake off any access. Into the pool. I don't care if you can't swim. You just gotta get in. Cooking time for these. 15 to 16 minutes, guys. Crucial step. Do not overcrowd this pan here or this pot here all right 15 to 16 minutes all right 15 minutes in pull up that beautiful crispy fried chicken of yours oh man most beautiful thing ever don't you think? <laughs> all right, second batch, very crucial step. Strain out all the bits and pieces out of the oil before you throw in your second batch, all right? Very important part. If you don't, this piece or this batch will burn. I promise you, it will burn. Some parts will be burnt, some parts will be crispy. <laughs> okay, 15 to 16 minutes into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. They just have to get in. Just beautiful. All right, last thing guys. Two cups of tea here, or green tea here. We'll make some sweet tea. Last time I did some fried chicken, a lot of you guys requested sweet tea. So I searched up what sweet tea is. It's just tea and sugar, but I'm gonna do some honey. And for this honeycomb guys, I will do it for my ASMR. This stuff looks sweet guys. Look, you're biting into some sweet nectar here. There it is, nice beautiful honey. Two big cups of green tea, like so. Ow. Ow. Next, I'm gonna whisk this up, and there it is. Nice, easy, delicious, sweet tea complete. When I'm watching, when I'm watching people make sweet tea, guys, the amount of sugar they throw in, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm gonna use honey. Honey's all good. There it is. Sweet tea complete. All right, last thing on the menu, the Cajun fries. So, these fries from this company here is very nice and coated already. It's very delicious already. All you need to do is 
fry them up, guys. And get our Cajun seasoning ready. So I got some cool running. Big shout out to Jamaica. Uh, I got some hot chili powder and I got some oregano just to make our Cajun seasoning. All right, here we go. Fries coming out. Nice and crispy. Nothing to it. Seasoning salt. Oregano. Just a tad. Hot chili powder. Just a tad. Mix. Ow! Ow! Mix. <laughs> Mix it up very well. There it is. Nice, simple, easy, delicious. Cajun fries complete. I'm just gonna taste one. Ow! 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 It's delicious. <laughs> All right, let's set this up. So, piece of parchment. Another Cajun fries. Right on top of the parchment. Bowl here, bowl here. One bowl, corn. Toss it here. Take this, ketchup. Like so. Next side, our rice and beans. Excuse the noise in the back. So we got rice. Like so. We got our beautiful beans. That's been cooling. There it is. Rice and beans. Next. Next we got this. To the ones that said my macaroni cheese was too watery in the beginning. I'm telling you guys. Once it cools down. It gets thick. It gets super, super thick. It's beautiful. Next, we got some biscuits. Homemade and delicious. Look at that. Nice, creamy, not creamy, buttery goodness right there. Like so. Let's bring on the coleslaw. So, this coleslaw. Best coleslaw you ever make, I promise you. Try it. Just try it. Don't believe me? Just try it. <laughs> Just try it, guys. I promise you. Best thing ever. Let's do a little rusty right there. So, next. Bring in our gravy. So, don't mind the... Or don't mind that skin there. See? Don't mind that skin there because it's that top layer of skin that kind of just dried out on the top there. It's still tasty, guys. There you go, gravy. Lastly, our beautiful fried chicken. So. Look how beautiful it is. Huh? If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Quan, and I am the fried chicken master. Don't believe me? Just look at it. <laughs> there it is. There it is, guys. I said it once and I'll say it again. You can hate, whine, complain all you want. But when it comes down to my fried chicken game, you better respect my fried chicken game. When are you guys gonna come through, guys? This is your gourmet. Louisiana fried chicken meal complete. Just come through. There's plenty. All right, let's start it off like this, guys. Sweet tea on ice. Sip of this. Yes, I know it's still a little warm. Let's try it. Good time. Let's get it. Nice. Super fun for this. It tastes like tea and honey. It's nice, light. When it's cold, it's probably more Refreshing, right? But let's do this. Cajun fries with uh, Heinz ketchup. Look at that. It's good. Nice. Super pop for this. Mmm. That bag of fries already, guys, is legit. Their fries already has a coat on it already, so you don't really have to put a coat on it. Mmm. Okay, sides, pork, mm-hmm, oh god, yes, pump this. Mm. 
Very sweet and delicious. Mm -hmm. Rice and beans with the bacon. Mm -hmm. Like that. He's got it. Nice. Pop this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Hey. My watery mac and cheese. <laughs> Click that. He's got it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Fresh, crisp, delicious coleslaw. Click that. He's got it. Nice. Pop for this. Mmm. Mm. Mm. By this, mm. Yeah. Mm. so buttery and soft. Mm. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making a nice, beautiful brisket, huh? It's dry too. Which makes it authentic, right? <laughs> mm. That's actually really buttery. Good. Fried chicken time. Best crispy Louisiana spicy chicken you guys ever pop in your mouth. With that. Let's go. Yes. <coughs> Pump this. Super pump for this. Mmm. Mmm. That is awesome. I want to say more awesome than before. But I don't know why. The crust seems to be a little wet. I don't know. Maybe just this batch. Flavor, seasoning, spice. Mm. It's all there. Mmm. I think this was the second batch, guys. The second batch that I threw in. I think I messed up on that part because I didn't wait for the oil to heat back up. And I just threw it in. Which kind of did mess up the cooking time. Or the crisp of this crust here. Let's find an older piece. What's an older piece? I think there's an older piece. Mm. Okay, let's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm. It's amazing. What can I say? Mmm. I wanna say this, I'm very impressed by the taste of Thai chili on my fried chicken here. It has the spice I wanted. I wanted all this time. Mm. Here's the thing. I think this is it, fam. Mm. This is it. This is definitely it. I wanna say this, what can you hate about this meal? It's good, home style, Cook meal. Little gravy, quick tap. Nice, got it. Nice.
the part of this. Top of the line gravy. Don't believe me? Try it. <laughs> mm. It's such a beautiful feast right here. Make this at home for your family. I guarantee you, you guys will never go out and fi buy fried chicken ever again. It's such a beautiful thing. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your palm shirts or food life's beautiful things shirt. Like, share this. Peace out.